Welcome back to Stand Stand Out. You're here today with Denali Chewbacca and Kelly Chewbacca, where today we are interviewing Michaela Emsweiler, the chair for Yes on Two up here in Alaska. Michaela, we've been talking a lot about just how bad the primary system and the voting and elections have been under RCV. But one thing that's also of concern to note is just how much dark money is being funneled into No on Two's initiative to keep ranked choice voting. Can you tell us a little more about that? How are those numbers looking? What what kind of support does that indicate? Yeah. And why are so many people outside of Alaska so concerned so about interested in our election? Yeah. <laughs> that is the million dollar question. Um, maybe you know, a never... $12 million question. <laughs> that is a $12 million question. We have never seen this kind of a flood of dark money from outside interest groups coming into our elections. Back in 2020, when this was first brought up to Alaska, we were actually promised that dark money would go away. In fact, all of their ads that the opposition, um, or at least the, the folks that are wanting to implement this, their entire campaign revolved around dark money to get rid of it. And of course, you know, that sounded pretty good because, you know, dark money just sounds really scary. And up here in Alaska, we love the transparency. We love honesty. We're just common sense Alaskans that um, want to see uh, our elections run with honesty. So um, what we're seeing this year is um, $12,200,000 coming in for a ballot initiative. Now to put this in perspective, a typically um, in the past to run a statewide race would be right around a million dollars based off of our, you know, former house races, but $12 million. Alaska is one of two states that have this system statewide. It's Alaska and Maine. And the, the same groups that have pushed it up here are now trying to push it in other states in the lower 48. Um, the reason why they want to keep this so bad is because they know the national significance. When we overturn this system, it puts the kibosh on their entire plan. So this race has national significance. Um, and I went down the rabbit trail of following the dark money to figure out, you know, where are, who's funding all of this? Is it Alaskans? Is it outside? How dark is the dark money? And right now all of their ads, and I've got a flyer right here, but it's, it's the top three contributors, Unite America out of Denver, Colorado, Action Now Initiative out of Houston, and the final five fund out of Chicago. This is just the tip of the iceberg. There are many, many groups. There's also groups from the East Coast that are giving you know $200,000 here and there, and it's just a flood coming, coming into Alaska. And I just have to ask the question, why is there so much of an interest to dominate Alaska politics from all of these interest groups and individuals from out of state. A lot of these, when I look into the actual funds, they are backed by Obama donors. It even goes further than that. It goes, you know, and the Murdochs, the um, Soros funded organizations, further than that, it's just not in the US. There are even global elites, um, billionaires from, um, outside, you know, from Switzerland, like Hans York Wies, that are looking to, um, that have already put hundreds of millions of dollars through an action burger fund to funnel these groups. Now, we know that their goal or the way that they view the American constitution is that they see it as a progressive document. They want to see, um, more of a, a, a just they want to re-engineer our systems and you have to ask why and that's really the 12 million dollar question why are they so interested in re-engineering our elections why are they why do they see the u.s constitution in light of progressive politics what is their agenda we are fighting a very i mean we're in a battle of ideas a battle of worldviews. america has been built on biblical principles and we have fought against Marxism, I, Marxist ideas, um, a lot of dangerous ideas and agendas that have come against the way that, that our nation was originally founded. Like we are in the fight of our lives, not just in this battle, but 
on a broader perspective, you can really begin to unravel the agendas and the motives behind some of these, um, the funding of a lot of these dangerous groups um, and the idea, I, idea um, the ideas behind it is very, very dangerous to our democracy. Yeah. You know, and let's, let's talk a little bit more just about the money real quick. Cause I do have one burning question. There's so much money and we know that a lot of it's coming from outside groups, but Michaela, how much money is coming from Alaskans to support no on two versus yes on two. I feel like that will really reveal just how much Alaskans support ranked choice voting. Well, when I was looking at the financials and was trying to figure out, you know, how much backing do they have from actual folks that are in the state? There was about $10,000. Out of the 12 million, $10,000 comes from Alaskans to keep ranked choice voting. Exactly. Wow. 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 You know, and last year, you know, this, this all started from a ballot initiative last year, there was tens of thousands of Alaskans that united together to do a petition drive. We had, we were in all 40 districts across the state, which is a, Alaska is a massive state. It was a lot of work, boots on the ground and everywhere we went, people were eager and ready to sign the petition. In fact, we, we not only got the minimum number of uh, signatures, but we went well above and beyond the number. You know, there was such a huge outcry for folks that are were wanting to go back to the original system. Yeah. Well, what's your level of support right now for the, what, what do you think the chances are that you're going to win for Yes on Two? What's the level of support for Yes on Two? Well, I will say we've got a lot of support across the state. We've got, um, you know, voters of all ages that are busy, busy door knocking, um, trying to get out the vote as best as we can. We've just been passing the collection plate around here in the state. This is tough times with our current economy, with inflation. So it's hard to compete against the $12 million that we see out of state. It'd be difficult to compete, you know, with a $1 million campaign. But the level of support that we have is going to be in our grassroots activists that are spreading the word, that are word of mouth, writing op-eds, calling into radio stations, doing everything that we know how to do to combat this terrible system. And the polls um, are showing that we're largely tied right now, right? That is correct. So what can listeners do who want to support Yes On Two? Well, as soon as the money comes in, we turn around and we're spending it on ads, on um, media, on getting our message out. And uh, this is the time for Alaska to rally. Folks can find us at um, on our website and donate on our website at yes on two. That's the number two, ak.com. Yes on to ak.com. That we need an inf- influx of finances to continue getting our message out through our ads, through our messaging, through get out the vote efforts. So anything helps at this point. And Michaela, if ranked choice voting and jungle primaries stay in place in Alaska and we are not successful in overturning it, what do you think the consequences are? I think people are going to be as outraged as ever that you will have um, stirred up the hornet's nest. You know, this, this is, they cannot silence us. You know, we are the voice of the people. They cannot silence our voices. Like they have tried through the lawfare last year. Like they have tried by disenfranchising six rural villages by not even counting their votes, like the way that they trashed uh, nearly 15,000 ballots in the general election two years ago. They are trying to silence our voices and boy, (laughs) they better watch out because they have just stirred up the hornet's nest. Yeah. One of the things we've noticed for those who are out of touch with what's happening with elections in Alaska is since ranked choice voting was implemented, we have had record low voter turnout Mm -hmm. and it has been in our statewide elections. We've seen it in local elections. There's just been a precipitous drop off. And there was a poll done right after our ranked choice voting election in 2022 to analyze why we had such bad 
voter turnout. It was done by Signal, one of the best polling companies in America. And they found that 26% of the people who responded who said that they did not come out to vote that year, normal people who vote, super voter people, said that they did not come out to vote because they did not trust the ranked choice voting system. So we know that it is contributing to the lack of voter turnout. And interestingly, 13% were Republican and 13% were Democrats. So it's not that this is just a system that's affecting one side of the aisle. Mm -hmm. And I think we're going to see more of that this year because, as you said, that New York felon who's on the ballot is registered as a Democrat. And we know many Republicans who intentionally voted for him to get him on the ballot to take votes away from the current incumbent, Mary Poltola. The Democrats' and, favorite. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think it's quite likely, since there's two Democrats on the ballot for Congress and only one Republican this year, quite likely that Mary Poltola is going to lose her seat in large part because this New York felon, this violent New York felon is going to take a significant percentage away from her. And then you are going to have more than just Republicans upset about the outcome of ranked choice voting. So Michaela M. Swallow, thank you so much for being with us today. Yes on 2AK.com is where listeners can go to support these efforts. Please note that the other side, the opponent has had virtually no support from inside Alaska. And I think when I look at Yes on Two's reports, I think nearly all of your support has been from inside Alaska. So this is an Alaska initiative. We are looking for help to make sure that we can overturn ranked choice voting. Yes on Two, AK.com. Michaela, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you, my pleasure. Yes, and we will be back right after this break. You are on Stand with Kelly and Denali Chewbacca. We are at standshow.org. Stand by, we'll be right back after this.